to John's Films. Today, as you may have guessed from the opening roll, we are putting together a new workstation. It is a Ryzen 3000 base system with a Zotac 2070 in it. Let's see how it does in DaVinci Resolve. Okay, let's look at these specs before we get into the benchmarks. This is a Ryzen 7 3800X. We're calling the Windy Machine because it was built for Windy, who you see in the B-roll. The 3800X was on sale down to almost $300 when we purchased this. In fact, the whole system was down around $1850, which tells me after CES this week, maybe we'll see some more price drops. Further down, you can see we chose a Gigabyte AM4 motherboard. We pair that with a Dark Rock cooler. It is always worth it to pay for premium cooling. It does a much better job of keeping you at your top performance. Next, it's an editing, but also... Software development workstation, we put 32 gigabytes of DDR4 3200 memory in it. She has a one terabyte solid state drive. The price and longevity of an NVMe drive wasn't worth it here. Bulk storage though, where she'll put most of her footage is on a two terabyte Seagate Barracuda. She has that Zotac 2070 I mentioned in the intro. It's an eight gigabyte 2070. It is not the super variant. And for that reason, we got it for in the 330 maybe. It's gone up significantly since we picked it up. It is a half-length uh, card. It's not half-height, it's half-length. So it's one of those mini cards. Finally, we put it in a Lee Ann Lee Landcool 1. The Landcool 2, it just launched and looks really sweet. But for the features and the price and the availability, the Landcool 1 became the choice. Finally, put an 850-watt, 80-plus gold-certified Corsair power supply in it. You may look at that and say, wow... Uh, that's overkill at 850 watts. Yes, except for it leaves room for a future upgrade, as well as uh, hoping that we can keep that fan running very, very minimally because it's rated for a much higher wattage output. Finally, this price does include the monitor. It's a 34-inch, 3440 by 1440, 75 hertz monitor. Should be easy for that 2070 to push. And here in the benchmarks, to remind you, Threadsmoker is a 1950X with the 2080 Ti. Mini-Me over here on the right is a 2700X with a 1070. As you can see, I've highlighted some of the more commonly used codecs. You've got your H.264, primarily shot on the A7 series from Sony, the Panasonic GH5, and other like cameras. This is at 150 megabits per second, which is a little bit heavier than a lot of those cameras shoot, at least by default. So be aware of that. But it appears that Threadsmoker manages this with a frame rate, average frame rate of 36.4 against a 26.8 and a 21.1 across the Windy and then Mini Me machines. And finally, Puget Systems assigned score, which is normalized on a 9900K and a 2080 Ti. You can see the Thread Smoker holds its own right around 1000, where the Windy machine runs in around 78.5. I really think it's the 2070 keeping this machine back, whereas the 525 is for Mini Me, which is that 2700X. If we look at it carefully, the Windy Machine and the Mini Me Machine both have eight core processors running 16 threads. Threadsmoker has 16 running 32. I really believe the gap in performance here is primarily due to the 2080 Ti. And then again, likewise, the gap in performance is the 2070 over the 1070. And there you have it. That is one of the best bang for the buck workstations for DaVinci Resolve, I believe is out there. I think the 2070 is a great spot with an 8 gigabyte of VRAM and the clock and core count. I think that's a really good purchase. When you're looking at the top end performance, I still think on the consumer card side, the 2080 Ti is fantastic, but overkill. So this has been a really good learning exercise for me. I found the sweet spot in the middle, somewhere around a 3700X based on price. If you don't get a great deal on one of the ones above it and the 2070 you can find a steal, that would be the way to go right now. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Like and subscribe so others can find this video, and see you next time.